Hey friend, how's it going? Thomas Decker here from GuitarRevolution.ca. This is the video 9 of our Basic Blues series. Video 9, okay? If you haven't seen the other ones, go back, make sure that you know what I'm talking about in the other videos. And then come and watch this one because uh, we've been building upon to get to this point, okay? Every video has... Uh, a little element that I'm building and building and building till we got to video 9. So, go ahead, make sure you know what you're talking about. I'm here because I want to help you to become the best guitarist you can ever be. Alright? The best on your rhythm, on your soloing, and play so you can play your guitar with confidence, with ease, with passion, and the power guitar has. Right? So, Please give me a thumbs up on, on this video, subscribe to this channel, um, leave a comment, it's very important that you leave a comment, let me know how is this helping you and what else I can do to help you, and, and it's a dialogue, please help and I can help you, right? I forgot my blues light, now we have the blues light going on, alright, now I can talk about blues, alright. On this video here, we're going to be talking about how to use the major pentatonic using the fourth shape of the pentatonic scale. We talked about how we can do the minor pentatonic using the blues note and the major third. And then the same thing on this video, on this video, on this shape. And there's that blues note. And the third. Right? And then last video I talked about how to use the major pentatonic itself. So minor pentatonic. And the major pentatonic. Right? On this shape here. Now, for this shape here. This is what you're gonna do. The same way we did with this first shape. We just count it three frets back in a way that our pinky finger will land on the root. And from there, we play the same exact shape, right? The same thing we're gonna do here. So here's the minor shape. The major shape will be three frets that way. So one, two, three and our pinky will land on the root, on A, on this case. And I play the exact same shape. You'll see that you can also add the blues note here. Okay, so you're... Right? Sounds good, right? Let's use the backing track and let's... Have some fun here. Here we go. Minor. Right? Finger one, it's minor. Blues note. Third, major third. Raise this note. that note. Now let's count three frets that way. Sounds so cool, right? Let me go a little slower. We're gonna use just the little the bottom strings here. With the blues note. Blues 
those notes. So good, right? So, so cool. You see, already completely different soloing accent. I don't know, it, it's just the whole phrasing, the whole, the whole mood, the whole mood changes, right? We use a minor pentatonic to the major pentatonic in a very simple way. Just count three frets that way from the root and apply that same shape. So we have pentatonic itself minor pentatonic I'm talking about, we add the blues note. We do add the third, right? And two different airs, two different shapes. And then we add the major pentatonic in one shape and then the other shape. Now, that is enough material for you to solo for hours. I'm not even joking about. You can you can use any given backing track to solo using these three or four elements. Five elements, one pentatonic, blues note, the major third, the other shape, right? That's another element. You can use the other shape and the major pentatonics. That alone is enough for you to solo for like, I don't know, without repeating yourself for a long time. And if you want to use a different key, what do you do? Let's say if it, if it is the, the key of the, the blues is on D. You apply everything that we did on A over D. This shape is right here. There's this shape. You can apply that everything we did here for A, here for D. Right? You just transfer. That's the very advantage we have as guitarists. We're not um, stuck per se with notes. We can just apply shapes. And that's why I always say the guitar is an instrument that is very much shape-based instead of note. Well, I can play anything here that I play here. I can play on F. So. Doesn't matter. I just move accordingly. Thinking where's my root and wh what shape I'm using. There we go. Voila, you have it. And if you do it in a strategic way, where you're thinking very intentionally, now I'm just gonna use the blues, uh, the, the pentatonic. Now I'm gonna use the blues. And I'm just gonna use these three strings. I'm just now I'm gonna move to the lower strings. I'm gonna use the, add the third. Now I'm gonna move to the next shape, right? If you do that very strategically, you're gonna see how much uh, how much you have to say, how much you have to express on your soloing. It's amazing. It is amazing what you can do with those five steps. And that's, by the way, that's just the surface. I'm just scratching the surface of blues here with you. So these five sim simple steps are just the beginning of what blues is. And I have entire course about it. It's called the Total Blues Guitar, and I'm gonna leave the link below so you can take a look and see for yourself how much deeper you can go when you're like intentionally focusing and strategically focusing on your skills that you already have. You know how we did here? We built upon the pentatonic. Well, 
I added three elements to the pentatonic, the blues note, the third and the major pentatonic. On that course, I go even deeper, even deeper. It's so amazing. And you know, like just adding one little brick at a time, one building block at a time. Just click the link below and get to know about my course. You're gonna love it. It's gonna transform completely uh, the way you play guitar. Now, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel give me thumbs up and on the neck this is not the last one but we have one more lesson how we can do rhythm more interesting and more rich because we don't want to be just playing the chords right? no there's so much more I can do within the rhythm section so Next video, the next lesson will be about that. You don't want to miss that. Okay, see you in the next video.